Hi, I'm David Bolton of Go Parallel, and today I'm going to be looking at what's new in the Intel C++ compiler that comes with Intel Parallel Studio XE 2016. So far there's been an initial release, followed by incremental changes in two updates. These changes can be summed up as A. For the Intel Many Integrated Core Architecture B. Adding support for Intel Graphics Technology C. Adding multi-threading support for Intel TBB, OpenMP 4.0 and Intel Sub Plus, and D, adding more C11 and C14 features. Let's look at these changes with Intel Many Integrated Core Architecture, or Intel MIC for short. This has been an ongoing project for almost nine years. Its aim is to provide lots more power through multiprocessing and head towards exaflop processing speeds. Earlier incarnations of Intel MIC were provided with Knight's Corner, Knight's Landing and Knight's Hill product lines, but it's now called Xeon Phi. By supporting Intel TBB, Intel Silk and OpenMP, the intention is that existing code can be recompiled with barely a change of code. New changes include the ability to offload computations to Intel MIC in single or multiple streams. This is done through pragmas to define the offloads. Many Intel processors include Intel Graphics Technology. This can be used to do computations with a minimal amount of code. The compiler generates code that runs on the host and also code that is offloaded to the graphics processor. Changes in the compiler include an API that lets you query hardware information. You can retrieve info about the platform including thread count and device, min, max and current frequencies. In addition, your software can control thread group space including width and height and runtime. This tells it how many threads are in a group and how many groups there are. There's also shared local support for click for loops. This can help reduce RAM usage and improve performance. There's a new compiler option that helps protect parentheses and prevents the optimizer doing something unexpected. Normally optimizers will rearrange calculations for optimal performance, but there may be rare occasions when the order of operations is more important. For example, because of rounding, and this option will let you do that. The downside is that it may make your code run slower because it's not optimized. One thing to bear in mind is that the Linux version of Intel C++ compiler is slightly more feature complete than the Windows version. The previous version of the compiler fully supported C++11 except for a few features that are only implemented on the Linux and OS X versions. The new compiler has some support for C++14 and this has to be enabled with the compiler option slash Q standard equals C++14. Likewise for C11 slash Q standard equals C11. I tried out the visual C++ version and comp compilation is fast as there is a beta though one or two minor gotchas but you expect that. Other changes include an implementation of the decimal type on Windows. All this is already in the Linux and OS X compiler and provides 32, 64 and 128 bit decimal arithmetic as defined in the IEEE standard 754-2008. There are newer versions of Intel's math kernel library, Intel MemKL, and Intel Integrated Performance Primitives, Intel IPP. The math kernel libraries added MPI wrappers to support custom MPI such as Cray MPI and IBM MPI, and the Intel IPP adds IVX 512 optimization. In conclusion, I describe the release of version 16 of the Intel C++ compiler as evolutionary rather than revolutionary. Thank you for watching this video. I'm David Bolton of GoParallel.